the derangement, a term coined by those in the 31st century to describe the ever-increasing aggression of the once docile machines, brought on by the destruction of Gaia Prime, the subfunction charged with machine creation, Hephaestus, was severed from the terraforming system as a whole. Once self-aware, it prioritized the machine ecosystem over all else, and met the hunting of machines by the world's various tribes with extreme prejudice. Not only did the existing machines become more hostile, but more combat machines were created to take the fight directly to those that threatened them. This element of the plot is pivotal to the story, and for most may be common knowledge. However, this machine evolution may actually predate the events of the Unknown Transmission, evidence of which may lie not within the lore of Horizon, but in a little-known game mechanic found within the game. In the section Ever Evolving Machines in the Collector's Edition Game Guide, we can confirm that our actions in-game directly impact the way the subfunction manufactures future iterations of machines. The machines in the world are not fixed designs, and as you hunt and kill more of them, they will eventually evolve and adapt by better protecting themselves with additional armor plates. These additional armor plates work in the exact same manner as the normal ones, but cover more of a machine's body, making it harder for you to deal full damage. The number of kills it takes to evolve varies with each machine, but once the evolution takes place, you'll only ever encounter the more heavily armored variant. This evolution process only works for machines that are still in production, however, so ancient war machines like the Corruptor and Deathbringer are unaffected. Though our journey with Aloy begins after the fall of Gaia, this type of modification strikes me as a protocol that may have began while she was still functional. Being there's no documentation of significant machine aggression during her functionality, yet the practice of machine hunting has continued for hundreds of years, it would make sense that Gaia would take measures to protect her machines, but unlike Hephaestus, measures that would not put the human populace at risk. Being that these machines were never meant to be hunted by humans if educated by Apollo, it's possible their original design never included protective plating, and only after humans began to hunt them did Gaia gradually adjust her designs accordingly. Perhaps these defensive measures continue in an accelerated manner now that only Hephaestus is at the helm of machine creation. It is such a great detail that the actions we take as a player contribute to this evolution, not only serving to make the gameplay more challenging, but also add a real sense of life and change to an already rich and vibrant world. And that brings this chronicle to a close. If you'd like to see more content like this, likes and shares are always appreciated. And if you really like what we're doing at the channel, come join our community and hit that subscribe button. Also consider supporting the channel on Patreon to help us create new series and to supply more quality content just like this. Check out the link in the description. And if you have a great idea or interesting question that could lead to our next episode, let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, thanks for watching and keep questing.